you see that uh, mm. in in season two. Yeah. I'm gonna let y'all finish real quick, but I'll just like to say last week's episode is now in the playlist and episode seven, y'all. Are there any specific examples of that you could give us? <laughs> So the show starts off and the king's having a conversation with his brother. And they're just talking fucked up smack about the other brother shit like Mother should have drowned him at birth. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Both of y'all are real fucked up. And the king's brother looks over to his wife and is like, why ain't you laughing? But she's rightly still worried about the fucking vikings attacking everybody. So she says something like only for fear and the king just stares daggers at her. This bitch right here. We then cut back to Viking territory and this dude goes up to Lagatha and it's like, Are y'all Mrs. Earl's wife? See our baby right y'all? That's not my baby. And the crowd's like, Oh, Jerry, 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 Jerry. Not exactly, but I'm interpreting. And rightly Lagatha's like, How do you know? I'd have tried to get her pregnant for some time now. Let dude, couple of months, stay with us. He left, nine months later, BAM! You tell me. And what was his name? They say some name I can't remember at the top of my head. And Lagatha's just like, well, you know, that name is another name for a god. You should, you should, you should be happy. You, you should drink wine with her, wine and dine her and shit. The gods chose you. And I'm sitting there like, wait, wait, you ain't gonna believe this, are you? But he did. We then get back to Ragnar, and the king sends some men to go fuck the Vikings up. They know the Vikings are there, the Vikings know they are there, but nobody's attacking. Nightfall, Vikings roll in. Now the king's brother's in his tent, he gets up to go fight, and then he's like, oh, nope, I'm gonna pray for a little bit. You know, I know motherfuckers like that that always has something to do when shit goes down. Yo, Malcolm, shit's going down, man. We need your help. Man, you know I would a second, split second. But, you know, I'm, um, I'm looking after my daughter tonight, actually. Sorry about that, cuz. Yo, James, shit's going down. We need your help. Oh man, you should have called earlier, man. I I just put on a bolognese, and if I go now, this will just ruin. This was ruin it. Steve, shit's going down. I would come, young buck, but but I don't want to. Needless to say, these motherfuckers get captured. Ragnar then holds the king's brother for ransom. Get it? King's ransom, because of the the title says. Ragnar and crew decide to sit down with the king to negotiate terms. But first of all, they have a little something to eat. And these Viking motherfuckers have no table manners. They eating in the prayer. They breaking motherfuckers crockery. They calling a singing motherfucker shit. No manners. Ragnar then stops the meal and he finally tells the terms of them leaving. Two thousand pounds. Well, that's not too bad. In weight. Of what? In gold. Shit. And the king's like, uh, I don't think I heard you that well. Okay. 2,000 pounds in gold. But the king agrees on three conditions. You get my brother back alive. Y'all get the fuck out of here. One of y'all becomes a Christian. And for some odd reason, Rolo volunteers to be a Christian. And Floki does not like that. Siggy asks to be a servant, which is humble. Then Rolo gets baptized and his new name is Rolf. More like Rolo on the floor laughing. <laughs> oh, God. Look, this is episode 7 now. I'm running out of shit to say, okay? Lower your expectations. Damn. The king then sends a horse and cart with empty crates. And I know by now, when she starts to go slow-mo, it's about to go down. Rolo grabs his shield, smacks it once in preparation. Doof! Everybody else grabbing their swords and shit, just waiting. Before I continue, I just like to say the baby you're hearing in the background 
isn't mine. Then the fight begins, people getting slashed, stabs, necks getting broken up and shit, people just smashing with shields and fucking epicness. I don't know who coordinates the battles in this show, but that shit is well thought out, every single one I've seen so far. Then the old man takes the sword to the back, Ragnar instantly takes revenge, but the old man looked happy as he went out. Then the battle's at his end and Rolf is still trying to murder motherfuckers like, how many Christians do I have to kill? I'm like, come down, Rolf. Hey, guys, Rolf's in one of his Christian rants again. Classic Rolf. Ragnar then fucks up the king's brother and sends his dead carcass to the palace. The king finally gives the go, but it was a bittersweet victory because we find out that Lagatha had a miscarriage. Thanks for watching, everybody. Fuck is it? There we go.